In today's video, we're talking all about lustworthy makeup. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Jensine, aka Jungle Naps, and I'm happy to see you here again. If this is your first time here and you like beauty videos, you can go ahead and subscribe. I do upload three times a week. So today we are going to be talking about less worthy makeup. I did the first less worthy makeup video about a month ago and you guys loved it. You guys thought it was so cool to hear about makeup that either just came out or is going to come out and I thought I'd do another one. So the first product, I just received it right here, the Jaclyn Hill palette. So I know this palette is really controversial. I know, I know. Either you totally want to get it or you're like, hell no. But I'm one of those people who is very intrigued. I'm not going to do a review. I'm just going to show you guys what this looks like up here. Beautiful, beautiful colors. I haven't had a chance to play with it. It literally just arrived at my door today. But like I said, you know, there are a lot of reviews. Everybody's talked about it, Jackie Aina, Siki, everybody that you can think of it. If you guys do want me to do a swatches and comparison video talking about if it's worth it or not, I'm happy to do that. Just let me know down in the comments. But you know what? Um, I'm feeling it. I do have to say that Jacqueline knows how to create a mean, warm, slash smoky eye. Those are her specialties. So I was like, you know what? I'm intrigued. I definitely want to get this and check it out. Um, other than that, because I haven't had a chance to actually try it, I don't have anything else to say about it. Other than the fact that, you know what, it's hot. Either you want to get it or you don't. <laughs> the next product that I'm talking about is the NARS foundation stick and girl I love me some NARS and I love that this foundation stick is matte yes it's matte and I believe that there are 20 different shades that they've just launched and I love stick foundations because they're portable I really love the hourglass vanish stick foundation but that one's a little bit more moisturizing so I can only use it in the winter time so I heard matte and I was like girl what? What'd you say? So this product launches on August 17th and on one side it's the stick foundation and the other side is a touchable like blender sponge and you can actually remove it, you can wash it and you can replace it which is bomb so you're not left with like a dirty nasty sponge for like you know a year or something. So my bad, I wanted to correct myself you guys. I'm looking online and the product is actually available July 5th on Sephora app and July 6th on the NARS website and then July 13th on Sephora online. Now the next line of products they're really really interesting. So this company is called The Ordinary and Beautylish carries a bunch of their products and I recently came across them because I was reading a forum and y'all know that I love the drunk elephant uh, glycolic serum it's my bay but the price tag is about $90 and that's steep and somebody recommended some products from the ordinary as a dupe for it a much cheaper dupe and girl I'm talking like five six dollar dupe and I was like what'd you say damn so I'm looking at the beauty lish website and just to give you guys a little sampling of the kind of products that the ordinary has they have a, a nice cinema and zinc concoction serum for five dollars and ninety cents and it looks like you at least get one ounce if not more they have uh, retinoid creams retinoid serums and those are all for under ten dollars what I'm trying to say is it's great skincare on a budget and it just seems like the reviews can't stop saying enough good things so I've got to go stock up on some of their products and if you guys try them, you have to let me know what you think because I'm always trying to save money and if it's, you know, great products, great quality obviously for less money, then that's what I want, you know what I mean? Next up, 
are these little guys right here. So if you guys are unfamiliar with the brand Blinking Beauty, they are a lash company and I love that Sephora is collabing with this lash company. So they're going to be creating some beautiful lash styles as you can see here and they're going to be available in Sephora in stores. Now I love the House of Lashes and Sephora collab that they have together just freaking gorgeous and I can't wait like I love to go in stores and see what lashes look like before I buy them or at least see somebody with a similar eye shape as mine so I know what I'm getting myself into now these four lash styles will be available in Sephora on August 15th and girl I love me a good lash so if you love lashes too keep on the lookout for them I don't really know as far as price how much they're going to cost I've got my fingers crossed that they'll be like you know affordable doable hopefully under 20 bucks but we'll see okay this one I'm really excited about check it out over here this is the Tasha vitamin C radiance mask first of all I love me some Tasha I mean their products are really expensive on the higher end of things so when I can afford it I love to check it out maybe cross my fingers it'll end up on sale at uh, TJ Maxx or Marshalls or something but you know that's always just like a crapshoot you never know <laughs> But this is a mask and of course you can rinse this mask off so it's supposed to have two different types of vitamin C in it it's supposed to retail for about $68 so I believe it's already available in stores. I know that Sephora, you know, usually carries Tatcha. And of course, on the Tatcha website, you know what? I'm just a huge sucker for packaging. First of all, I love purple. So the fact that they have like a violet colored packaging, the actual product is lavender, like, uh, purple heaven. <laughs> um, but you know what? I'm very intrigued. I love vitamin C products because when I get breakouts, it's really nice to use those products because that way it will, you know, kind of lighten and also exfoliate some of the dead skin so I can get rid of that hyperpigmentation a whole lot faster, which I'm always down for. <laughs> but if you guys have this product already or you've tried it, let me know what you think. I'm actually thinking, you know what? I might get a sample from Sephora to see how I like it. I don't know. We'll see. Do you guys want me to actually review it? Because, I mean, then that's just an excuse to buy it. You know what I mean? And moving on to this little goodie right here. Now, this is a collection of Dose of Colors. Um, they've got 10 nudish pinky shades that have just recently come out. Now the really cool thing is that Ulta will be selling them online so they will retail for about $17 each. If you do want the actual bundle you'll have to go to the Dose of Colors website but I like ordering things from Ulta because then I know that I can return it, exchange it, and do all that kind of good stuff. But if you take a look at these swatches on their little model here like they look actually really bomb and if you are a woman of color or a person of color in the darker range you can also pair that with a brown liner like MAC chestnut and really really make it more you know friendly in terms of the darker shades also it's a uh, vegan and cruelty free and just look at the packaging guys like I'm feeling the rose gold tones like they just look bomb also let's talk about these guys right here so NARS is also going to be launching 20 shades of these liquid lipsticks now they are more long wear like matte and look at the shade range like definitely woman of color friendly person of color friendly and I'm just digging them like they're supposed to be really really comfortable to wear like all day long I have seen a couple of influencers talk about them apply them they look so freaking good guys and also NARS is known for their packaging like how cool does it look and I love that you can see like the little shade of the color inside you know what I mean that way if you like to display your makeup on your vanity or something you can quickly see which one you're getting so they will be available on July 5th 
on Sephora and July 6th on the NARS website. And as far as Sephora, they will be launching it on the app on July 5th, so that's their thing, you know. I think that they really want you to, you know, have the app so that you can have early access, which can be really, really nice. Yeah, I'm not really sure when you'll be able to see them in stores. I don't think they've released that information, but I gotta get me some shades, particularly Slow Ride and just what I needed. Those look like really beautiful nude type shades. Uh, London Calling looks really good and I love that they have a different array of red. They are just looking so, so good. So that's it for my Lustworthy makeup items. <laughs> I hope you guys really enjoyed these and tell me what you're excited about that either just launched or is going to come out pretty soon. I feel like summer makeup launches are just looking like all too good um, also let me know if you guys really want me to do a review or a swatches and comparisons video of the Jaclyn Hill palette I'm more than happy to do it for you guys and uh, yeah give me ideas for any videos video suggestions down below in the comments and don't forget to check out my beauty reviews playlists and uh, I love you guys and I will see you in the next video Bye.